watching Adopedia oil videos. We'll continue with our SAP B1 running process. This is the prerequisites video. Let's see about the Dunning highlights in SAP Business One. When goods or services are sold, the liabilities of the customer to the business are raised. From that moment, incoming payments are monitored to make sure that the customer debts are paid on time. When they are not, the company needs to activate a collection process such as telephone or written reminders to the customer. Now in SAP Business One, you have a Dunning wizard for this purpose. It helps you to run through all the customer. It checks all the outstanding AR invoices, the transaction that represent debt and enables the business to print and send those letters of different uh, severity of your dunning to the customers. In addition to that, because of the overheads involved, the dunning wizard lets you automatically post service invoices for interest and fee charged with the dunning letter. Let's see with the prerequisites of uh, Dunning Wizard. Before we see Dunning, let us uh, see what are the prerequisites because as business one lets you to define how from customer to customer your Dunning process uh, will vary and for these things uh, you may have configured some prerequisites. The very first prerequisite is found in administration module in uh, setup in financial folder as GL account determination. So in GL account determination you can see that I have highlighted Dunning interest and Dunning fee. You have to mention uh, your account code and account name so that all the Dunning related account activities can be monitored in your system. This is the prerequisite number one Dunning interest and fee account setup. Second is our Dunning terms. Again Dunning term is found in administration module in setup in business partner folder as Dunning terms. Dunning terms setup. Dunning terms are based on Dunning levels and contain parameters and values required for Dunning process run. Uh, you can have the code define a unique number for a specific Dunning term, a name, a Dunning letter method, select any of the values from the drop down list you can have one letter per invoice, create a Dunning letter for each invoice. You can have one letter per Dunning level, group all the debts related to same Dunning level into one Dunning letter. This option is by default selected. You can have one letter per business partner, create one letter for each business partner even if the debts of the customer comprises of uh, more than one Dunning level. You can apply letter layout by highest level. If you select this option, the template for the highest Dunning level for all the documents included in the letter is used. There are some Dunning levels. In this Dunning level section of window, you can either add, edit or remove Dunning levels with the following fields. Letter layout, select the Dunning letter number that corresponds to Dunning level, for example, to add Dunning level 4, choose the letter 04 and select which a general layout will be suitable for all the Dunning levels. You can also see that exchange rate for the interest calculation can be based on original exchange rate from invoice or the current exchange rate, base amount for interest calculation. Uh, base date for interest calculation, number of days that you want to define in your year. This is a huge setup and this may require a lot of understanding by the implementation team. The prerequisite number three is the Dunning term for the customer. This is found in system initialization in administration module in general setting. And you can see uh, in the business partner tab, default Dunning term for the customer. So by default, the standard Dunning term will be selected for all the customers. This completes our prerequisite number three. 
Let's see about the prerequisite number four, Dunning term for a specific customer. What you can do, you can go to a business partner, a master data and business partner module, and go to the payment terms tab. There is the Dunning term you can mention, whichever Dunning term you want. Uh, here I have taken standard as my Dunning term for this business partner, Technosys one two three. Exclusion of specific AR invoice or altogether a customer in Dunning run. Now in SAP, what you can do, you can exclude a specific invoice. All you have to do is go to the AR invoice and uh, click on this block uh, Dunning letter here, this checkbox. And what this will do, this will block this AR invoice in the Dunning wizard and none of the Dunning letter will be generated for this AR invoice. You find this option in logistic tab of your air invoice. Another option is that the company may want to altogether exclude a business partner from Dunning run. So what they, they can do, they can go to that specific business partner. They can go to the accounting tab and within accounting tab, uh, the general tab and uh, what they can do, they can check on this checkbox and this will enable the users or the company to block the Dunning letters for this particular uh, business partner. In our next session, we'll see the steps of the Dunning uh, within the SAP Business One. Thank you.